Richard is a designer goldsmith and we have worked with him for many years. His work has featured in some of the greatest showcases of bespoke on single customer commissions. The beauty of Richard's installation is that it has an immediate impression of suspension, of floating. The delicacy of these silver spars that neatly cradle these fantastic amethyst stones. And back at the very centre of the installation there is this brilliant cut diamond stone. This is all offset against a fascinating textural surface. Nymphenberg are absolute masters of their craft and their craft being porcelain. We arrived at the decision to immortalize an English rose and here we sought out Philip Harkness who is a, a revered English rose breeder and we worked with him to select the optimal composition and form of a perfect English rose. We used the crisp white porcelain on the one hand side and on the other hand side the darkest possible option of porcelain, the black porcelain is solidly colored. Yeah, with the porcelain you're able to copy materials which are as thin as, for instance, the leaf of a flower and even as thin that you can see through it. Nature Squared are renowned for creating beautiful things for beautiful spaces. They have created an abstract installation of natural feathers. It is approximately 3,000 feathers which are prepared and sorted. The feathers are all selected in different sizes, cleaned, brushed and prepared and also with small angles for a stitch operation to wove it and it is really a preparation that it is nearly like the skin, like the surface of the bird. The opportunity of the gallery concept itself allows us to work with the content of natural products that never seen before in the automotive world. Yang Yang Wei's work is defined by her generous application of paint, which shapes a surface that is rich in texture and form, and plays particularly well to the floral design which she has created for her commission of the gallery. Lang Yang Wei visited the home of Rolls-Royce here in Goodwood in autumn of last year and she was particularly taken by the colours and the textural impression of the surrounding West Sussex countryside. And it was these tones that influenced her work. Helen draws inspiration from the illustrations of Charles Sykes the sculptor credited with creating Rolls-Royce's enigmatic figurine. Helen has created an almost serene landscape from which a form begins to appear. What emerges is the trailing arm of the spirit of ecstasy. As a textile designer, I identified straight away with the spirit of ecstasy. I love the drapery, wing-like effect over her arms and I love the fact that I can connect my sculpted aesthetic with the drapery of the form itself. It feels like a huge privilege to think of my work being inside the flagship car for the leading luxury brand in the world. Based upon, as a collective, had this acute observation of the influence Phantom has on passing audience. When it does majestically move past someone, it's almost like the world stands still, the time is, is frozen. They began to experiment with silk in water, 
and freeze framing that, digitally remastering it, reworking it as a solid form in clay. Then, as the final step, they machined this in a solid billet of aluminium. It's a truly wonderful piece. When you look at it, you see that effortlessness. You see the mysterious force somehow captured. But we know that it's taken everything we know in terms of design and engineering and fabrication to make that possible. Torsten Frank is a well-established 3D printing artist. Torsten's idea is that we are able to allow the customer to influence a profile at the very beginning of a futuristic commission for Bespoke. And that profile would influence a complex algorithm that would then generate a geometric form. So it becomes as unique as their fingerprint. Not only has he achieved the largest single printing of stainless steel ever featured in an automotive context, he has also gold-plated it.